Hi everyone, welcome back my channel. And today, so we are discussing one important topic from chemistry. So it is very very important for exam purpose. Okay. See now we'll go to into that topic. See here. See today we are discussing about quantum numbers. Okay. See and already we know very well we have. Four quantum numbers are there. Okay, we have four quantum numbers are there. So now we will see one by one about uh, these quantum numbers. Okay, the first quantum number is the first one is okay principal quantum number. Okay, the first quantum number is principal quantum number. So now we will see what about this principal quantum number. See this. The principal quantum number it is denoted by it is denoted by small n. Okay, it is denoted by small n. Next, see, and what is the importance of this quantum number? So, what is the importance of this quantum number? See, this quantum number it means what the principal quantum number. The principal quantum number describes the energy levels or shells around the nucleus. See around the nucleus. See the principal quantum number describes the energy levels or shells around the nucleus. So it means what? So it describes energy levels or shells around the nucleus. So we are getting one doubt. So what is that energy levels? What is the shells around the nucleus? And already we know very well in atomic structure. See, so this is nucleus okay this is nucleus you know very well the nucleus has protons and neutrons okay and the electrons are revolving around the nucleus you know very well that okay the electrons are revolving around the nucleus okay see what about energy levels what about shells see the electrons are revolving around the nucleus in particular path okay particular path so how the planets are uh, revolving around the sun okay see the electrons are have negative charge the protons have positive charge and neutrons are not having any charge okay see so the electrons are revolving around the nucleus in particular path so now we will see what are those shells here see you know very well it is denoted by small n now see see always the n starts from 1 okay n starts from 1 and goes to 4 okay n nothing but this principal quantum number starts from 1 and goes to 4 now we'll see now we need to get this what is the energy levels c r shells when n equals to 1 see when n equals to 1 that is k shell this one okay that is k shell that is k shell okay when n equal to 2 that is L shell, that is L shell. Okay. And when n equal to 3, when n equal to 3, that is M shell, M shell. When n equal to 4, that is N shell. Okay. N shell. So, whatever these shells are there, no, this is nothing but energy levels. These are energy levels. Okay. Okay. These are energy levels. Okay. So, this is about uh, principal quantum number. See, it is denoted by small n, okay, and it describes the energy levels or shells around the nucleus. So these are the energy levels and our shells around the nucleus. And so when it, when n equal to one, that is k shell. When n equal to two, that is l shell. When n equal to three, that is m shell. When n equal to four, that is n shell. See, and it starts from one and goes to four. Next, see. It is very very important the small n the small n can never be equal to the small n can never be equal to so here what is the answer your answer is zero the small n it never be equal to zero it means what it starts from one okay so this is about principal quantum number second quantum number is azimuthal quantum number now we'll see what is this azimuthal quantum number see the azimuthal quantum number is also called as 
angular momentum quantum number see this this one the azimuthal quantum number is also called as angular momentum quantum numbers okay now we will see what about this quantum number see this azimuthal quantum number it is denoted by small n next it describes see it describes the shape of sub energy levels are uh, sorry within main shells already we know very well what are those main shells see already we know very what is the energy levels and what are those main shells also we know very well that is k l m n so these are the main energy levels in the atom okay so these are the main energy levels but this azimuthal quantum number or angular momentum quantum number it describes the shape of sub energy levels these are the main energy levels see shape of sub energy levels within main shells so these are main shells okay k l m n are main shells but it can describe the shape of sub energy levels in the main shell okay see now we'll see what are those sub energy levels see there are four sub energy levels are there okay there are four sub energy levels are there okay so what are those four sub energy levels that is s p d f okay so these are the four sub energy levels main energy levels k l m n these are the main these are the main energy levels okay so these are sub energy levels now see the sub energy levels the sub energy levels will start from zero okay the sub energy levels will start from zero then l it is denoted by l so then see l equals to zero okay s sub shell next see l equal to 1 l equal to 2 l equal to 3 so like this we can say this okay see it, this sub energy levels we will start from the zero so this is about uh, azimuthal quantum number now we will see this one what is the difference between n small n and small l see what is the difference between small n and small l small n is nothing but we know very well that is principal quantum number small l is nothing but we know very well azimuthal quantum number now we will see what is the relation between this two see so this is the principle but we no need to follow this principle so if you want to get the relation we need to follow this but no need so without this principle we'll get the answers very easy way now see you know very well the principal quantum number it will start from 1 the azimuthal quantum number it starts from 0 now we'll see when n equal to 1 so don't confuse it already in pre in previous quantum number you know very well see see we know very well this is k l m and whatever next one that is n so these are the main energy levels okay the in this main energy levels we can see sub energy levels so they are nothing but s p d f see you know very well when n equal to 1 that is k shell already we know very well see when n equal to 1 that is k shell okay in this k shell we can see s sub shell okay in this k shell we can see s sub shell okay and we know very well already what is the value of l see for s okay that is l equal to Zero. So that one. Next, when n equal to two. So when n equal to two, that is L main shell. When n equal to two, that is L shell. That is the main energy level or main shell. See in this one, we can see two sub shells. That is S P. Okay, we can see two sub shells. When n equal to one, one sub shell. When n equal to two, two sub shell. Simply. Here one one sub shell. Here two two sub shells. See, as well as s value zero and uh, p value one. Okay, p value is nothing but l. Is the total quantum number. Next, see when n equal to three, that is m shell. Okay, when n equal to three, that that is m shell. You know very well. See 
when n equal to 3 it has three sub shells that is c s p d that is s p d s value 0 and p value 1 and d value 2 okay according to azimuthal quantum number next when n equal to 4 okay when n equal to 4 we know very well when equal when n equal to 4 it means it need to has four sub shells so what are those four sub shells c s p d f so uh, according to azimuthal quantum number so we will get this 0 1 2 3 so like this s value p value d value f value so this is the relation between principal quantum number and uh, azimuthal quantum number or angular momentum quantum number so now we will see so one more thing here see when n equal to 1 try to understand when n equal to 1 that is k shell you know very well okay how many sub shells are there only one that's why we gave here one one sub shell and so when you are writing electron configuration you will get this okay 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 like that 3d okay see when n equal to 1 that is k shell so it is uh, only one so that's why that is 1s nothing but s orbital or s sub shell next see when n equal to 2 see when n equal to 2 you know very well how many sub shells are there yes p when n equal to 2 it has two sub shells okay when n equal to 2 it has two sub shells that is that's why 2s 2p okay next when n equal to 3 that is m shell it has three sub shells so that's why 3s 3p 3d okay next when n equal to 4 when n equal to 4 it means what it has four sub shells see that's why that is n shell it has four sub shells this is this is n is the main shell okay remaining s p d f they are the sub shells when n equal to 4 that is 4s 4p 4d 4f okay see this is about uh, azimuthal quantum number or angular momentum quantum 